Hi, today we are going to introduce you to 10 color direct flocking technique first used in here in our company. It has it, it was never been used in another, con, in another company in anywhere in the world. It's, it's going to be a new system. I want to repeat that no one have ever used this technique. It's something new in the world. No one other than us knows how to apply direct ten color flocking. First, first step is applying the flock adhesive, and this is our sample table. They are going to apply the flock adhesive first. Now they are applying it to the second shirt. After we applied the first layer of flock adhesive, now we are drying them. After they have been completely dried, now we are going to apply the flock powder and we have prepared our screen frames, screen frames. First of all, we are going to use the black powder, black powder plug, as you can see. We have 10 different colors. First, they are going to apply this black, black powder, but before applying the black powder, they are applying the second layer of flock adhesive. After the first layer of flock adhesive was dried, now we are applying the second flock adhesive. Layer of flock adhesive. Now the design is, is being framed. The system is being set up. Now they are applying the black powder, as you can see. They pour the black powder, the black flock powder. They are applying it again. After the first color has been applied, now we are applying the first color, the black color, to the other. As you can see to our design, the first color, first color have been applied. The first color have been applied. After the first color have been applied, the black color. Now we are going to apply another color. As you can see, they are pouring the black color, black powder back. Now they are going to apply. The beige. As you can see, the second color is applied to the design. We are cleaning the, our screen frame for the second t-shirt. Now we are applying the black. The beige or golden powder to the second shirt, second design. And the second color is being applied to, and the second color is applied to. As you can see, we first applied the black color, then the beige to the both shirt, so now we are going to do the third color. We want to remind you that this is the first time this technique has been used. We are the first company in the world to use this technique and use the hand color direct flocking.
Now we are going to apply the white color. White flag. And the white flag powder is purple. The screen frame. As you can see now, the, our design has the white component too. White was our third color. As you can see, the design is starting to appear and they are applying the white powder to the second t-shirt, the white t-shirt. And our third color, the white, has been applied too. Now we are going to apply the fourth color. We are using the direct plucking technique. And another shade of beige is being applied to the design. And a second and more subtle shade of beige has been applied. And the beige, this, the white beige is being applied. This is our fourth color applied to the t-shirt. As you can see, they appear, they start to appear. This is a direct plugging technique that has been used in our company first. No other company in the world has been using this technique with 10 direct color plugging, multi plugging. And now we are going to use the, the red color. This will be our fifth color that I'm going to apply. It. Now they're applying the red color. The red Flicking powder has been applied, and now you can see we can see the red component of the design. And they applied the fifth and red color to the second white t shirt, too. Now the yellow look powder will be going to apply. And our sixth flow powder. As you can see, this is a bright yellow color. Yellow. And this is our flow powders. This is the red flow powder. You can see the blue flow powder there, and they are going. They are applying the sixth and the yellow flow powder. To the design and as you can see yellow components of the design have been appearing it appeared on the gray t-shirt now they're applying the, the gray they apply to the color the yellow color to the gray shirt now they're applying to the white color white shirt the yellow color and they apply the sixth color the yellow to the white and the gray shirt as you can see this is the design Now they are going to apply the seventh color. As you can see, they are going to apply the, the purple block, block powder. And they are applying it. As you can see, the purple component of the design appeared too on the grey t-shirt, now they are applying the, again the purple flow powder to the white t-shirt. And now we are going to apply the 8th color, if I'm not wrong. And this will be the light blue cloak powder. Light blue cloak powder will be applied. And the blue cloak powder is being applied to the screening frame. Now we are cleaning the screen frame. And as you can see, 
the blue component of the design have been appearing too, they appeared. And as you can see, we have the black, white, gray, beige, yellow, and blue component. And the blue flow cover is being applied to those white t shirt now, too. Now we are going to apply our final color. This will be a darker blue. And as you can see, this is a darker blue flow powder. This is our last color. And we are applying a dark blue to the gray t-shirt to the design. After applying it to 5 to 10 seconds, we are again cleaning the, the frame. As you can see, the design is now complete. You can see all the shades, all the colors. And this is the white shirt. The colors have been applied to both of them. And the process is now done. And for last, lastly, we are going to apply a vacuum. We applied air to get rid of excess flocking powder. As you can see, now the design is and the design and the procedure is over. The two t-shirts have been printed by the direct flocking technique. We want to remind you that our company is the only company in the world that is using this technique. Now we want you to we want to introduce you the other designs that we manufactured by using the direct flicking technique, the same technique that we have showed you. And this is, as you can see, another design we, that we use the, the the same technique. And we want to tell you that their thickness is one millimeter. As you can see, again, you can see different shades of colors. And as you can see, these are our samples, different samples. I want to show you one or two of them. Again, this is another design, another color, the same technique, direct flocking, multicolor technique, and this is another design. As you can see, the colors and designs can vary greatly. This is another design that we have. As you can see, it's very live. And its thickness is one millimeter, I want to tell you again. And here we have another design, the same technique, direct flocking. As you can see, we have other adornments here. You can add other adornments, limestone. like limestones. You can use add limestone. And now I want to, to show you something different. You can see it is different. It's thicker than all the other designs. Our other designs was only one millimeter thick. You can see their thickness. They were one millimeter. They weren't that thick, but this is four millimeters thick. This is thicker than our design. So as you can see, we can do both one millimeter colors and four millimeters thickness. Uh, and. We wanted to tell that lastly, we can do the same design, the same color, the same shapes to 4mm design too. So this could have been 4mm, so this is 1mm, but this could have been like this thickness and 4mm too. Now we want you to show our other designs. Again, they are 1mm, we have as you can see, tons of designs, shapes, colors, all you want. They have been produced using the same multi, multi color dye flicking technique that we have showed you. And as you can see, it's a flower design. And here's a lively color, which has more shades of 
Red. That's a cascade. That's a flower design. And the flower design, they have been all produced by using the same technique. Show you the rest of the designs. These, these are the rest of the designs as you can see. All of these designs have been produced using the same technique. 